Hey, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Welcome to First Our Visions. I am here, here to do a general reading for you all. Check out and see what's coming in, going out, going on for the hour of solar returns. For you Scorpios whose birthdays or solar returns are on um, the latter part of October, I fall into that category. I wanted to do a little solar return bonus reading for you all. Tap in, tune in, see what's coming in, going out, going on. Um, right now we have a um, fr the Friends of Distinction playing, and the name of the song is Going in Circles. And he says, you got me going in circles. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, round and round I go. So somebody got you going around and around in circles, some confusion. I feel like you're breaking free from that. Whatever that, you know, um, whatever that repeating cycle was, whatever that is, I feel like it's coming to um, an end. Somebody's been tuning and tapping, and this energy has been very, very um, consistent. You know, every reading, this card shows up. So you do have a lot of people kind of tuning in, and these people are not tuning in with good intentions. These are people plotting, scheming, scamming. Uh, people who are backstabbers. These are people who are trying to trip you up, set you up. So be mindful to not like tell too much, um, you know, about your business. Do not, you know, and, and I mean like anybody, you know, because you really don't know who these people are. Uh, because only the people closest to you can set you up. Um, strangers aren't going to be able to do that, but, you know, because they would have to be familiar with your actions. But I do feel like with this energy, this is speaking to people who you are familiar with people who you know people who you some of you may be calling friends um but you're going to come out um, on top uh so just keep focusing uh keep your eyes on your prize and like i said be hush about what you have going on whether business related love new opportunities finances even about your endeavors you know whether they may be business endeavors relationship endeavors even life personal you know moves you're planning to make you have to be mindful um to not share um i feel like these are people you may have blocked out or you may need to block some folks out um the divine is also saying access denied you know for whoever these individuals are uh, because these people definitely, as we saw, that's that energy of plotting, scheming, and scamming. So these are people trying to familiarize themselves with your moves. Um, you know, and it's almost like a sense of hatred, jealousy, envy, um, which is motivating these people. Um, and we have Kanye Doss, Stay. So with that song, you got me going in circles, and now we have Stay. So someone obviously doesn't want you to leave. Um, and many of you need to, you know, cleanse your energy. Um, because this is some sort of, maybe somebody's doing some sort of spell work, trying to confuse you, you know, because when you go around and around in circles, it's almost as if you're on like, you know, an emotional roller coaster ride, or you're just kind of, like I said, repeating cycles that you know you need to complete. And I feel like these are lessons that you've already learned. And, um, you know, people are obviously like trying to plot and plan a way to keep you stuck, to keep you in a position where you cannot move forward. So with stay with me, someone definitely doesn't want you to leave. But I feel like a lot of you, you know, definitely um, just take spiritual baths, cleanse yourselves frequently. I feel like some of you may need to do a spiritual bath at least once a week um, until you feel, you know, whatever heaviness or whatever uh, confusion. Many of you may be suffering from like uh, fatigue, um, unexpected fatigue. Maybe you're suffering from lethargy. Maybe you're feeling unlike yourself you know maybe things seem to be a little stagnant you can't seem to get your mojo you can't seem to you know pick up your energy so some of you may need to do that spiritual bath just to clean clear cleanse your energy and to rejuvenate rejuvenate your spirit um i am feeling also that you are uh lining aligning with what you have been manifesting 
Uh, there's some things that you have been setting intention on and they are coming into fruition. And I feel like with the chemistry is real, this could be in relation to love or some sort of deeper soul connection, soul tie with someone. And it's going to have you cheesing from ear to ear uh, because it says the courtship, let your guard down. So you have to be open, you have to be receptive. And I am feeling like, you know, because you were dealing with someone very mature, um, in the past that some of you may have your guard up. Some of you may be super, super protective um, and very suspicious, you know, of people not really trusting. And I feel like the divine wants you to really just, you know, kind of retreat, you know, re re be receptive, be open, you know, because there's opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. And we have, he loves me, he loves me not, games, mixed signal. So that's what she was dealing with in the past, someone who was constantly flighty, in and out, impulsive, unreliable, and this person wants to keep you stuck to them. I feel like this is someone who sees your worth and value, but they still want their cake and they want to eat it too, and I feel like that's why you had the energy of someone who was plotting and scheming and scamming because they do see that you have the potential to attract someone new uh, and that you're going to have a beautiful chemistry connection uh, with that person. There's going to be a very synergetic um, bond between you and someone who's coming in and I feel like that past person is recognizing and realizing that your love is one in a million and that no one can match it. Not any of the birds or any of the, you know, the, 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 um, you know, none of, none of the birds that these people may be dealing with right now. As I was saying earlier, wear your protective jewelry, amulets, ward off the evil eyes that lurk. So there are a lot of people watching you. We did see that with their tuning into your channel. So you have not only, you know, an ex, but you may have their karmic watching you, tuning in, um, studying you, studying your actions, trying to duplicate you in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, and this is not anyone looking at you or watching you with admiration. This is jealousy. This is hatred. This is envy. These are people who feel like you shouldn't have what you have, or they're envious of what it is that you've been able to obtain. I feel like you've learned how to move in a room full of vultures. You are not, um, you are not, uh, aloof nor are you um, unaware of who and what you're dealing with so I do feel like a lot of you have you know realized or felt the energies that were around you and you've taken those necessary precautions to protect yourself to protect your energy um, to protect your space you know and even be protective of what you share I feel like you're very hush um, we have right now Casanova playing by Gerald Levert so many of you are going to have someone coming in and this person is really um, going to sweep you off your feet. But I also feel that past love was trying to be a Casanova. You know, they was trying to be a little pimp player. You know, a little player player from the Himalayas. And I feel this person definitely has a guilty conscience. They're resting on a guilty conscience. Can't sleep. It says, I can't eat, baby. I can't sleep, baby, um, and without you in my life. So that's uh, R. Kelly lyrics. So this person is definitely suffering. Can't rest. Um, really retracting and re playing certain things in their um, mind about the way that they were behaving. They were trying to be a Casanova, a player. They could have been that same immature energy that I was picking up on. Someone kind of flighty, in and out, unreliable, someone who was just kind of un, um, non-committal. Um, they, you know, had commo uh, they were a commitment fold, if you will. Um, see that? We have frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that. Many of you realize that some of the people that you were uh, calling friend, your homie, your bestie, your girlfriend, your sisterin, your brethren, people that you were calling you know, these names, people that you were holding near and dear to your heart, you discovered that these people were absolutely frenemies. They were jealous. Um, they were plotting and scheming behind your back. Some of these people may have been sleeping with your lovers. Maybe they were stealing ideas and, you know, duplicating some of your business ideas and making their own um, businesses with some of your patents. Uh, but you've discovered these people were not to be trusted. I feel there is a sense of guilt um, that these individuals are struggling with or dealing with right now. But I am sensing that um, you have cut them off, you know. And with this thunder clapping, many of you have not even get gotten down to the root of the issue. I feel like there's a potential for something to come to light or some truth to come to you because it says prepare, take shelter. So many of you will definitely receive some sort of, um, um, I heard the word chilling 
it's going to be chilling. So that's it's like it's gonna, it's not going to be uh, 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 it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be kind of like disturbing, troubling news. Um, it's going to really take you aback. Uh, but I, I'm hearing you're going to be okay. But it's just you know the, the the details are going to be like it's going to be astonishing. Um, I'm definitely feeling like there's there's some sort of like this is something that you never would have suspected from this person, and it's going to really be uh, disturbing. So with this Casanova, you have a secret admirer. This person really adores, and 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 uh, they appreciate what they see. They see you working with, you know. With what you're working with, whether physically they think you're attractive, uh, but they're also attracted to your mind. They're attracted to the way that you move. Um, they do feel that you are stimulating. You're interesting. Uh, you intrigue them. I also feel like with that Casanova, you discovered some folks was definitely out there, you know, trying to be, like I said, um, trying to have their cake and eat it too. But you are having major breakthroughs and victories right now. Uh, many of you have cut the karmic cord, you have cut the soul ties, and you have freed yourselves from a karmic relationship. Um, you've learned karmic lessons, and you've completed a karmic cycle. So now there's uh, opportunities for growth, for you know, for uh, abundance, for prosperity, for love, for emotional and financial fulfillment to come in, wish fulfillment to come in. I feel many of your prayers and petitions are being answered. Uh, and I feel here with Mama Yemenya, you've learned to love yourself from a connection that was loveless, from a relationship that made you feel emotionally bankrupt. Um, you've discovered how beautiful you were. You've discovered how much you bring to the table. You've discovered your worth, your value. Um, you realized that you were absolutely beautiful and that you started to love yourselves unapologetically. And that's when you, you know, you stuck the fork in it and said, I'm done. You know, you don't need to keep fighting for something um, alone, you know, a relationship requires two people to work at it. And you were the only one that was putting in the work. You were the only one carrying the burdens. And so you said, I'm done. And, you know, for many of the feminines, you found yourselves having to take on a lot of masculine energy because you were taking on all the responsibilities and all of the burdens within the relationship. And so you didn't have a, you know, an opportunity to be as soft, um, as you are, you know, intended to be. And so I do feel like now you're going to attract someone who's going to give you, you know, with this Casanova song by Gerald Levert's playing, I feel like you're going to have someone who's going to be more attentive, more affectionate towards your needs. So that was just, you know, <laughs> I was just doing a little pre-shuffle and I went into a whole, you know, storyline. But let me go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I also call upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Saint Germain, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call upon Imhotep, Heru, Aset, Set, Bast, Ma'at to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And I also call upon great Lord Ganesha, Lord Shiva, Lord Ashakti, Lord Gadakia. I call upon Mama Kali and Mama Lakshmi to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Please protect the readings and please protect our beloved Scorpios from any, any evil eyes, snakes, forked tongues, anyone doing juju, voodoo, hoodoo, santaria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work to cause harm, anyone sending any evil intentions, may it be returned to sender. And so it is, so more to be our shame. So let's go ahead, tune in, tap in. Those were just the um, pre-shuffle messages. So let's see who's coming in. So right now we have um, Layla James, and this is called When You Love Somebody. So definitely when you love somebody, you know, the feelings are supposed to be reciprocal and reciprocated. So I feel like you will know if someone loves you because you will feel loved. You will feel fulfilled. You will feel appreciated, protected. You will feel adored. You will feel tended to. 
heard. You will feel like your person's open to communicate and open to compromise in that relationship. So when you love someone and when someone loves you, there isn't anything that you wouldn't be willing to do to sustain that relationship. So I do feel like you are attracting someone, Scorpios, who is going to be willing to put in the work because they know by experience, same as you know what um, it feels like to be in a partnership with someone who just simply wasn't ready. Uh, someone that just simply didn't speak your love language and that's all right. That's why it's, you know, free will that we all have and you have the ability to remove yourself from anything that does not serve your highest good. And that's why you have that fin there because I do feel like a lot of you uh, finally realize that you couldn't keep giving to a situation because you weren't receiving anything. And instead of you feeling fulfilled, you were feeling depleted. You were feeling emotionally bankrupt. You were feeling taken for granted and unappreciated. So now there's new opportunities coming in. The divine is telling you your dreams, don't forget them. It says they are more than something you wake up from. Believe. So for many of you, as I was saying, there's wish fulfillment that could possibly be coming in. I feel like many of you could be living your dreams now. Maybe in that former connection, a lot of you were dealing with a relationship or a partner who was living vicariously through you. Maybe they were had they had some sort of parasitic energy. Um, maybe they were an energy vampire, or they really was just overbearing and self absorbed where it was all about me 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 i i i uh and you didn't have they 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 took up all the air in the room um so it was like it was all about them or it wasn't about anything but for many of you you didn't forget about the dreams you didn't forget about your aspirations you didn't forget about your desires i feel like if some of you have removed yourself from a relationship the divine is telling you now is the time to start going after that dream that you've had uh, this is the time for you to, you know, perhaps start working towards a particular dream, whether this is a dream in regards to a passion, um, you know, a gift that you may have had uh, that you may have forgotten about because the relationship, like I said, just took up most of your time and your energy uh, and your attention. Um, and now is the perfect time to start focusing on that dream because I feel like that dream has the ability to bring forth some sort of stability, success, happiness, joy, uh, peace. Um, and so look what this says here on the bottom. It says, treat yourself. You deserve it. And it says, self-love is the best love. So many of you, you could be treating yourself to the perfect gift. Um, many of you could be doing like, you know, perhaps you're going to go out and get yourself a new wardrobe. Um, because you hadn't purchased anything for yourself in such a long time. It's really been all about your household, your children, your bills, just you know, getting things back on track after some sort of tower moment or a completion of a cycle. And the divine is saying that, you know, with all that work that you did, you know, take some time out to go and treat yourself. Don't forget about you. Don't forget about, you know, loving on yourself. Even if it's something as simple as getting a henna tattoo or, you know, even getting your toes done, you know, mani or petty or getting a facial, um, getting your hair done, getting a haircut. Uh, treat yourself because you absolutely deserve it. Self-love makes you more attractive and it's definitely the best type of love um, because it does send, you know, a beautiful vibration and energy into the ethers and it also brings your vibration up, you know, and when you radiate love, you attract love. You know, there's this magnetic pull and you'll attract people on a higher frequency saying, you know, such as yourself. So that's beautiful. So it says right now we have um, Sadat X and this is called um, Brain Sparks. So yeah, Brain Sparks, maybe you're getting some new ideas. Maybe some of you are um, definitely, you know, uh, maybe you're, you're, you're coming up with some really cool, innovative things to add to a business. Um, and you're just kind of tweaking and, and, and playing with some different ideas. But I do feel like, you know, whatever those ideas are, it is re in relation to your dreams. Um, maybe you're trying to figure out how to take your dreams to the next level. Maybe take um, something that you do to the next level so that it could be, you know, perhaps um, so that you can launch it. So that you can move forward with this idea. It could be also, you know, maybe somebody's in, you know, you're in someone's 
in someone's mind, you know, like you're running across someone's mind constantly, um, secret admirer energy, because I was um, picking up on someone kind of like watching you from a distance, not just the haters, but also someone who's wanting to come in, someone who's definitely wanting to, um, you know, come in and court you, be, you know, more chivalrous, more charming, um, treat you like the divine feminine or the divine masculine that they know that you are, that they can see that you are. Um, you also have a lot of enemies, um, people who really, really don't rock with you. So, so many of you really need to assess your cipher, your circles, uh, some of the people that you are coining friend, or like I said, family, brethren, sistren, sistars, uh, whoever it is, because you got some folks that are really smiling and beguiling in your face, and they're not exactly who they proclaim to be. And these people are secretly plotting and planning um, to take you down, to take you out. These are enemies. These are frenemies. They're jealous of something that you do. Maybe you're living your dreams. Maybe, like I said, you have some sort of wish fulfillment. Um, maybe there's some sort of gift that you've received from the divine. And these people are really perturbed by that. So with this basic instructions before leaving Earth, many of you have been receiving a lot of downloads from the higher you know, from your higher self, from a higher power. Many of you have been really seeking advice. Uh, perhaps many of you are going to like a master teacher um, or some sort of spiritualist, a practitioner to, you know, seek advice, to seek wise counsel. Um, I do feel like many of you are meditating more and connecting, uh, grounding yourselves. Um, there are downloads that you're receiving, but I also feel that you're connecting to spirit. You know, you could be communicating with your ancestors, calling upon your angels, your spirit team more, and they are showing you um, which direction you need to go. Many of you could be, you know, just reading scripture, reading your prayers, um, I mean, your um, Bible scriptures more frequently uh, because you may feel, um, you know, some sort of negative energy surrounding you or uh, you know, maybe you're picking up on some sort of psychic attacks. Um, but I do feel that there is protection here, regardless of what anyone is sending to you. I see here that you have someone that's going to be very emotionally intelligent coming in because you have uh, balanced your own emotions. I feel like you found emotional equilibrium by doing your healing, um, by doing your soul work, by doing your, um, you know, by doing your uh, um, um by healing yourself, this is why you have, you know, found this emotional intelligence, this balance, this emotional equilibrium within yourself. And what, like I said, whatever you vibrate, uh, at whatever frequency you vibrate, you will attract that. So you have someone that's going to be all of the aforementioned. I said these things before, and here it is. So you have someone who's going to be attentive, affectionate, loving. This person is willing to commit long term. They're going to be very protective and honest, loyal, and transparent. So it's I'm hearing what you see is what you get. Um, and that's exactly what you're going to get. So you're going to have someone who's going to be very transparent. I'm hearing open book. Uh, so they're not going to be deceptive. They're not going to be sneaky. Um, they're not going to keep you guessing. Um, they're going to be very blunt. Um, but they're going to have some couth about it. They're going to be blunt, though. They're going to be honest. So they don't have a, they don't feel the need to shy from conversations or to run from conversations. They're going to be very honest, like an open book. So we have here four-page letter, and it says, these are my thoughts. Should I send it? Text, delete, text, delete. So someone is struggling with how to come towards you or to approach you. Uh, this person is watching you and is trying to gauge the perfect time and the perfect way to um, to come in. You know, I feel like this person is kind of watching, you know, from the distance uh, because the cards that said uh, they're tuning into your channel, it also says like stalker, it says secret admirer, then it says obsessed. And so you could have multiple people, which is what I was feeling initially, that you have multiple people kind of watching you, tuning in. Um, right now we have Nina Simone feeling good. So I feel like this person is waiting for an opportunity where they feel good to come in, where they feel confident, um, where they feel like they can be assertive. You know what I'm saying? So this person is going to um, eventually send that letter or send that text or even pick up the phone and just dial you. Uh, but they're going to do it when they feel good, when they feel confident. So Divine Spirit of Love and Light, what's coming in for our blood Scorpios? And I feel like, you know, they see that you feel good. You know, I see I see that they feel 
that you feel good. So we got a bunch of cards that just flew out. And normally I wouldn't take cards that are face down, but the divine is saying to take them. And it's a bunch of cards. So for many of you, someone is definitely losing their shit. Like you got someone that's batshit crazy, crazy deranged. Somebody could be obsessed and possessive all in the same damn time. This is somebody who feels, um, you know, this is someone kind of unhinged. Look at that. And look what's underneath that. It says pr praying on your downfall. So I was saying they could be, you know, obsessed and possessive. And then look what's here right underneath that. And it says earth angel. And it says you are my precious. So if you remember Lords of the Ring, there was this little, I forgot what that little monster was, but he used to, um, he, he wanted the ring and he would be like precious. And that's what that is coined after so it's like even though you're an earth angel it's like you're rare you're beautiful you're vibrant you're healing you're loving you're nurturing but someone feels that you are theirs um and this is someone who's kind of like you know li literally it's that you know if i can't have you nobody can but because you have broken free um from someone look at this you got this energy of the yoke has been broken and it says redemption, right? So you've broken free from something and someone that was keeping you bound and stuck and you've blocked that energy because you knew it wasn't for you anymore. And remember, that was the person in the beginning, it was saying, you got me going in circles. So this person was someone who had you kind of like repeating cycles, playing games, in and out, emotional manipulation, gaslighting, lying, cheating, but then they would do things to make you feel like they want to keep, you know, keep the relationship um, going. And then they would disappear and then they would come back and then they would disappear and then they reappear so this is what narcissists do and they do that so that they can maintain control and they can can maintain um you know leverage in the con in the partnership and you know this is just a part of their sick and twisted um ways but if you look here frenemies was the only card that flew in the upright and it says they don't really rock with you like that so this person that's crazy deranged preying on your downfall you know, this person definitely sees how beautiful and rare and loving and sweet you are. And they miss that. Um, but at the same time, they don't want anyone else to experience that. And so this person, like I said, they may smile and beguile. Um, and they may feel, like I said, entitled to you. Uh, because at the end of the day, they, you know, this is someone that you may have been with for quite some time. So I'm definitely not going to take all these cards. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these and I'm going to get one card and then, okay, see that? Did you see how those two just flew out? So I'm going to put these back. I'm going to put these back, back in the deck. And we're going to take these. So it says cheesing from ear to ear. So see that? And it says the courtship, let your heart, your, your guard down. So someone's really going to be smiling and beguiling and acting like they're happy for you because you are absolutely, um, going to be really, really smitten by someone new that's coming in. And we got Judas here. So someone, someone is really a, a liar, a cheater. Uh, this is, we got three, four cards. And then these two here, let me get one more message because this person is, you're cheesing from ear to ear. And then it says frenemies. They don't really rock with you like that. And then you have Judas. So you're really, you know, you're happy. I feel like you're cheesing from ear to ear because you're happy. You're content. You're financially stable. You're taking care of yourself. Cash rules everything around you. you you're getting your dollars. You know what I'm saying? You got your money on your mind, your mind and your money, your stability, your family, your career, your business. So you're not really thinking about anyone right now, but I feel like there's a lot of people thinking about you and there's a lot of people trying to study you, learn you. Um, so you have to be mindful of that. And these people are snakes. They foo foo. You know, that's that fugazi energy. This is those frauds. So you have to be very, very mindful. Let's get one more message. What else you have for Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. And this just flew out. And it says, you will be the first millionaire in your family. It is written. So this is why these people are smiling and beguiling in your face. And this is also why you're cheesing from ear to ear. You know, because someone, some of you are going to be millionaires some of you are going to absolutely have some sort of windfall of money there's going to be some sort of uh some great joy and success that's coming in and i feel like a lot of you are absolutely going to be very grateful thankful 
and there's going to be a lot of snakes trying to get at that. You know, they're going to try to be, you know, they're going to try to get in line. And you have your beauty in every fashion of the word. And it says internal and external. So you absolutely will be attracting someone who will be, you know, like I said, smitten, um, smitten by you. And you will be smitten by them. We're going to use the um, Kipper deck. To clarify these messages. And spirit. And who do we have rhyming right now? So we have Karis One Poetry. So someone probably writes poetry. Maybe this person, that's probably what that person was penning. You know, they was probably penning you a beautiful poem. You know, maybe someone is an artist or a writer, um, you know, because hip hop is nothing more than poetry. You know, when you put your words together in ways um, that's very creative and unique and it paints beautiful pictures, you know, but um, someone could absolutely be penning you a beautiful poem to express their feelings, their love. And we have, um, and the beat goes on by the whispers. So I do feel like this person is kind of like because this is the whispers. See this we got poverty. Someone's definitely struggling. Someone's definitely struggling. This 37 is the end of that though. This is the, you know the end and a new beginning. So someone's struggling while someone else is coming into some sort of great fortune. And it says and the beat goes on. So I do feel like for many of you, you're going to continue moving on um, and someone else is really struggling. And it says fren fren frenemies, they don't really rock with you like that. And then you have great fortune along with this message that was saying that you're going to be the first millionaire and it is written. So some of these people that are coming back to you are coming back because they need help. They need assistance. They see that you're good. They see that you're stable. You're financial. These are people you had expectations you know, you had these expectations, but remember the divine was telling you with your dreams, don't forget them. You know, just because things didn't work out in the way that you wanted them to in the past doesn't mean that you have to give up on that dream, whether that be in a career, in a business, in love. It's like, you know, whatever your vision was, hold that vision and don't forget that dream because it absolutely can materialize and manifest. Perhaps that wasn't the right timing. Everything happens in divine timing. There was someone here with whom you thought was your person, but this was not your person. This was someone who brought imbalance and instability into your life. And I feel like you had to seek higher knowledge within yourself. And you had to be more discerning and intuitive in that relationship, that partnership. Because I feel like many of you were really feeling impoverished, struggling financially. You felt like you were in a spiritual, you know, in a place of spiritual lack, you know. And I feel like the beat goes on is just saying that you kept going, kept moving forward. You didn't give up. You know, many of you were praying to the divine with the whispers. I feel like you were just in private, meditating, praying, calling upon your ancestors, you know, really sending up those prayers and petitions, doing daily mantras, affirmations. And we speak those things, you know, through our minds. It's all telepathy, you know, but some of you could have been whispering those prayers up to the divine, into the ethers. And we have Dave East again, Talk to Big. So many of you, like I said, you was, you know, and Talk to Big. Big is, you know, Notorious B.I.G. And he's, you know, he's now an ancestor. He's in the spirit realm. So I feel like that's what you all were doing. You were speaking to your angels, your ancestors, your spirit team, asking for strength, asking for, you know, instruction, you know, asking for some sort of guidance, spiritual guidance, you know, protection from your enemies, protection from, you know, just certain pitfalls that could have potentially come at you. And I feel like for many of you, you absolutely received the assistance you needed because that's how you were able to get out of that situation and you were able to find emotional equilibrium again. Because someone did throw you off equilibrium and that's why you had to get back into a space where you were trusting, you know, you were speaking your language, which is emotional intelligence. Scorpios rule emotions. You know, you're also very psychic. You're very intuitive. You're clairvoyant. So you had to start trusting that. 
And when you began trusting your own intuition, that's when you came, you know, you got into a higher vibration. Because someone pulled you out of, you know, out of balance. So that someone's definitely struggling. So why is basic instruction before leaving Earth here? So we have this courtship. And I'm putting these cards where they make sense. And this says the courtship here on this card and cheesing from ear to ear. So this is what you're going to be cheesing about. You're going to be cheesing because you're coming into spiritual union, into a spiritual partnership with someone who is going to be emotionally intelligent, attentive, affectionate, loving, protective, honest, communicative, loyal, transparent. This is someone who knows how to treat a lady. This is a lady that knows how to be treated by a good man. This is not somebody that's going to run a good man off because she's so used to dealing with the bad boys. Somebody that's going to dog them. No, you're going to be willing, open, able, and receptive to this love. This is a spiritual union. This is that 11, 11 energy. So this could be the yang to your yin, the yin to your yang. This could be a divine masculine, a divine feminine coming into union. You're going to feel so in love. She is blushing. She's shy. So this person's going to make you feel youthful again, you know. And this is something you can see here that your, you know, your angels, your ancestors have, have aligned you with this person, you know. This is preordained. You see that angel right behind them? So you have like, this is almost like, um, like I said, it's happening in divine timing. And he's holding this beautiful arrow. So it's almost like a Cupid's arrow. So this is someone coming in. And they're going to love you. And they're going to treat you beautifully. You know. So we have despair. Someone's going to be in despair. And what did I say about somebody who's going to see you being courted by another person. And this really going to trouble them. Because maybe they thought they always had this, this hold on you. You know. Maybe they thought they at, always were going to maintain this control. You know, because they were able to do it for so long. And when you finally broke free, you was done done. You was thin, just like the card said. And so, you know, at the end of the day, now this person's in despair. And they're also struggling financially. There's a struggle here. They've lost everything. And it's because maybe the people that they were trusting, the people that they abandoned you for, the people they was cheating on you for, laughing and gossiping about you and talking ish behind your back too these people did the same thing to them they had to learn the hard way that the people they were entrusting because it says frenemies they don't really rock with you like that and this person's now struggling financially they got got for everything on down to their shoes you know somebody done took the laces out their shoes so this energy is like really in despair you know this is an energy of conflict we have um jadakus playing jason and um, so this person's like this, they feel like they feel despair, like to the point where it could be a sense of um, it could be a sense of mental conflict, you know, because Jason, you know, Jason is um, Jadakus's uh, real name. You know, that's his real um, name. So I do feel like, you know, this person is now finding out. Um, that these individuals were not real friends, you know, because it says, you know, Jadakus, Jason. And as I said, Jason is Jadakus's real name. And this is so someone realized that these so-called friends were not really their friends. You know, these were not real people. They were not real loyal. You know, they were not really loyal. And I feel like these people got them. And you can see there's a cat right here, like a black cat. And I don't usually um, associate cats to anything like spell work and anything like that because I have, I have a black cat. Uh, but I do feel in this circumstance, especially next to Judas, that some, some of these people were doing some sort of um, spell work on this past person. Because not only is there a cat there, a black cat, but there's also a rat. So whoever this past person is, whoever these individuals were... Um, they're definitely around a bunch of snakes, around a bunch of um, foo-foo people, fake individuals. And I feel like with this, with this poverty card, they're learning that the hard way. And this is someone, like I said, these, these could have been family, friends, people you was calling your sister, your brethren, your sister, your bestie, your homie, 
your girl, your man, your A1. This, these are those people. And now you're in despair because this, these are people you shared, like you broke bread with. Some of these people could have been your roommates, people you lived with, maybe your children's father, maybe your children's mother, child's mother, child's father, family, mother, or a father. But these are people that were like in close vicinity to you. And there's a lot of a lot of despair. Maybe somebody's reflecting back on when they had it good and now they're in this despair. They're realizing how good they had it and they left that situation for something that was just it was it was, you know, it was really um it was painted beautifully, but you know, it was an illusion. You know, and now this conflict. And that's this is what this person's feeling. It says on the background, you know, it says not hiring. So this person is probably like trying to find work, not bringing in enough money. If they do have a job, it's they're kind of like robbing Peter to, Peter to pay Paul and then robbing Paul to pay Peter back. And it's just like, you know, and these people, you know, like I said, they, they, they got caught up with a bunch of thieves, a bunch of snakes. They got caught up with people who were vibrating on the same frequency they were vibrating on when they was duping you. And this is just the energy. Now there's thoughts, memories. Reflecting back, thinking back to how things were, thinking back to how good things used to be when they was with you. Because like I said, with that energy there that had, um, it said earth angel, you know, and then it said plot and scheme and backstab. And this person's trying to figure out how to get back on their feet and they'll do so by any means. They have nothing to offer you. This person has nothing to offer themselves. This is just something they're going to have to get through because this is a part of the soul work, the healing that's required. If this person wants to get back on their feet in a just and righteous manner, they're going to have to face everything. They're going to have to admit, own up, take onus, accountability, responsibility for everything that they have done. And they're going to have to work through it. And they're going to have to accept whatever the divine reveals to them in terms of who they were, what they were, and they're going to have to admit it. And they're going to have, if they don't like it, they're going to have to change it. Change is necessary. Change is inevitable. But those who are too stubborn to change, they just get stuck in a rut. And they get stuck and they repeat cycles. They don't learn the lessons. They don't, you know, they don't learn. They just repeat, repeat, repeat. And so they get stuck and then they get mad at everyone else because they see everyone else moving up, forward, ascension, growth, happiness. They see everyone doing well. And they're like, well, what about me? How come I'm still stuck here? Because you ain't doing your fucking work. You got to heal. You got to grow. You got to evolve. You got to take onus. You know what I'm saying? And people don't want to do that. Anybody in this energy, in this low vibrational ass energy, they ain't thinking about healing. They ain't thinking about growing. They're thinking of the same shit that got them in the situation in the first place. How can I get over on somebody? You know, gaslighting, lying. And we have Mary J. Blige featuring um, Casey. I don't want to do anything. So what did I just say? This person don't want to do shit. They just want to come up. They want to come up how? By being associated with somebody who's coming up. So they're going to ride the coattails of those who have been doing the work. And that's probably how this person has been getting over but I feel because you finally put, you know, the nail in the coffin and you finally said no, enough is enough and you cut this person off. They can no longer like get in where they fit in. They can no longer live vicariously through you because you've cut them off. So they don't have a way in. They don't have a way out. This is why they feel in despair because the people that they could have, you know, abandoned you for, they don't have shit to give either. They they too busy doing what they do. They 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 Judases too. You know what I'm saying? They thought these motherfuckers was real. They thought these were some real motherfuckers. But they realized these motherfuckers are just as fake as they are. And now there's a lot of despair. Lack of loyalty. Lack of trust. They can't trust nobody. They can't even trust nobody at their places of employment. Somebody at their jobs is probably... Because you see all these people in the background. You can see these people, these figures in the window. So it's like these people are watching them. And they know they struggling. And they doing little backhanded shit to stress them out, aggravate the fuck out of them and shit, watching them. You know how people be micromanaging you and shit? They going through the motions, beloved. They seeking other jobs, but nothing's nothing's happening because it's like you're not going to be blissed. There's not going to be any rewards when you're in this energy, okay? This is why they stuck there because they have to learn 
that what you put in the universe, you're going to get back. And you have to learn to vibrate higher. If you're going to stay on this energy, well, then you're going to have to get more of this treatment. This is what comes with that. And this is what this person is really in despair about. And it says, I don't want to do anything. So they don't want to do shit right now. They don't want to change. They don't want to evolve. They don't even want to look at themselves as, you know, as the problem. They want to find guilt or fault in someone else. And so with this wealthy man, many of you feminines are going to be attracting a wealthy man. And we got 4444 four, four right now on the clock. So that's confirmation. Those are angel numbers right there, beloveds. And look at this. It came right back out. So this wealthy man, and it says you will be the first millionaire. I feel that goes right there. And it was four. And look at that. That 13. It said 4444. Four, 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 and now it's 13. That's another four. So that's confirmation. This person definitely, and that 13 is the number of the death card. So this could be you all, Scorpios. This is your energy. You know, the thir number 13 is associated with the death, death card in, um, you know, traditional tarot. So with this wealthy man and you will be the first millionaire in your family, um, it is written. Yeah. You know, all that hard work, all that bust in your ass is about to pay off. You reap what you sow. The seeds that you have planted, they are harvesting. And I feel like I said, you know, you have a lot of spiritual uh, protection guides. You know, they're assisting you. They're assisting you in multiple ways, not just financial blessings and, and fulfillment, but also I feel in love, you know, because I feel like many of you have been working in so many different areas in your lives and you've, you've really come into alignment, come into harmony. And so I feel like you don't want just anybody coming to you. You want someone who's absolutely, you know, going to be emotionally intelligent, you know, that's going to make you feel that tingling you know those butterflies and shit that's what the hell you want fellas too you want somebody you want to be sitting on the phone to all hours of the night sitting around catching up talking about everything under the sun moon and stars you know learning one another being courted that's what we used to do back when we was younger sit on the phone you ever saw those memes and it was like Remember when conversations used to be this good and you'll see a dude sitting on his head or female sitting in the bed with her legs on the wall or it's just like, you know, because you're just so caught up in the conversation. And that's what I feel like this person going to take you out to the park, take you on trips, you know, just little fun things. It doesn't even require a lot of money being spent, fellas. Just little things like, yo, you like to hike? Oh, I know this nice little nature walk area. Oh, you like the water? Come on, let's go take a little boat ride or something fun. You know, it doesn't require a lot of spending money. You know, maybe go to one another's home and, and, and cook a meal together. Do little fun things. Watch a movie. Find one of those um, drive through movies. You know, they be having those down here in North Carolina. But it's just like, you know, go to a fair. You know, just little simple things, you know. But fun, things that are going to like really get you to learn this person in different elements, you know. And we have um, Not Going to Cry, Mary J. Blige. So yeah, you know, you're not going to cry anymore. You're not going to allow yourselves to be crying over a man or a woman ever again. And that's why you're going to be very mindful of who you allow in, you know. And I feel like this past person that you was dealing with, like, you know, this person definitely didn't allow themselves to be vulnerable. You know, they may be going through a lot right now and they're not being honest or communicative. They've never really confessed or, you know, confirmed anything or gave closure, you know, because they just, like I said, they want to be victims. What did I say? You got the thief here and we got the Judas. So someone is definitely dealing with someone who's been, you know, plotting and scheming on how to take somebody's money, somebody's goods, some of someone's ideas, because you see, this is a wealthy man. And you got two people here, two key players. You got this dude pickpocketing, and you got this female who's distracting. So there's a man, a masculine energy, that's being distracted by a feminine energy and another masculine. So this is like, could be someone's friends, because it says frenemies. So this person, look at this, they, and they're in poverty. They're impoverished right now because they've trusted the wrong individuals. And so not going to cry. You can't cry over spilled milk. You can't cry over some shit that you did to yourself. You know, when you trust in people that you don't know or putting yourselves in situations 
and you haven't even learned your environment, that's why it's really important to assess your environments, assess people, check the temperature of folks. And I feel like this past person that you was dealing with, like this person just abandoned you and jumped into situation and didn't even know who they was dealing with. And whoever they was dealing with knew that they was an easy vic. And vic meaning victim. Like I could get this mofo for everything they got. I could get this fool. Me and my homies is going to set them up. Some of these fellas got set up by a female. You know, some of y'all probably got robbed, got jacked, I'm hearing. Damn. Somebody's house got invaded or just robbed. And this 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 is someone who's, you know, he's like likes to be seen big. You know, somebody who probably talks a lot about what they have. And um, yeah, it didn't it didn't end well. Mm mm mm. Goodness. So why is uh, basic instructions? Let's get that card. So we got basic instructions before leaving Earth. It says occupation. So for many of you all, I feel like a lot of y'all could be um, really mastering some sort of craft. You know, maybe you're trying to figure out, you know, what it is you need to do. Maybe you're gonna find somebody or you met somebody at your place of employment. You know, and um, this was someone that you, you know. You may feel is very emotionally, you have like a, a, a beautiful connection, chemistry with, or this is just speaking to some of you, what your gifts may be um, in terms of, you know, maybe a spiritual gift. Maybe some of you are healers, shamans, maybe you are in spiritual practicing, maybe some of you are, you know, you heal remotely, maybe you're, maybe you, um, you know, because she's sewing here. So I do feel like, you know, I'm, I'm getting the word sewing in good faith. So I feel like, you know, for many of you, whatever it is you're honing, whatever this dream, whatever skill or talent, whatever hidden talent it is, I feel like it's definitely going to bring some sort of um, some sort of abundance, prosperity. It's going to open things up for you. I feel like it's going to open up some really magical opportunities and they're going to work out perfectly. Because you can see she's really diligent. She's very focused. It's a lot of hard work. So you're like really. And I heard sewing in good faith. So it's making me think of that seven of pentacles. Because that's the number 34. But I do feel like you're like listening to your higher self. It's giving you downloads. It's like you're getting instruction on what to do. You know what, what projects to, to work on. What endeavors to embark on. It's just. That's the energy that I'm getting from that. But for some of you, maybe you've met someone at your places of employment. Maybe you've met someone special at your place of employment. And we have Black Magic Woman playing by Carlos Santana. So many of you, I feel like some of y'all could be finding um, out that you are, you know, you have someone jealous at your job, at your places of employment, and you may need to protect yourselves. As it says, uh, seeking higher knowledge. So many of you could be trying to advance in your places of employment. And there's someone doing some sort of spell work or someone's jealous of the opportunities that you may have. You know, and they're trying to block certain opportunities from coming in for you. And you're truly, um, you're very skilled and very um, capable of whatever these positions are. It's like you have experience you're experienced in these roles and somebody could potentially be trying to block you and maybe you're seeking advice about who th who these people are or what these blockages are and i feel like your ancestors are going to tell you exactly who to avoid i'm hearing call upon baba ogun because he definitely provides breakthroughs and he gives you the victories and the success that's for some of you who are familiar with baba ogun's energy i feel like some of you definitely you know, should turn into the alchemists and start manifesting 
Um, you know, start protecting yourselves. Don't just be out here naked because, like I said in the beginning, with that energy of their watching, tuning into your channel, and plotting and scheming, you had a lot of energy energy about people preying on your downfall. And then you got this Judas energy, thief energy, poverty, frenemies. They don't rock with you. So keep your business to yourself and don't be running your business. Don't even let anybody know what you got going on in your personal life, really. Like if you are starting a business and you haven't started it yet, or if you have started um, a business and don't tell people about your product information, what you add into your store, what you're working on, because people are going to steal those ideas. They're going to steal the ideas. They're going to try to block certain things from coming in from you. We got family room, so these could even be family members, people that you laid with. So why is emotional intelligence here? Just don't be so trusting. We got message of concern. So I definitely feel like a lot of you receive some sort of message. Damn, this is, ugh, and it says coffin. So message of concern and coffin, damn. And then there's gift underneath that and then great fortune. So something ended. I feel like you received that message of concern from that person. Perhaps maybe you're going to receive a message about that person that lacked emotional intelligence. You know, this this is like, you know, when you receive that first initial um, download or information, you know, which was showing you that there was some sort of conflict in the relationship or there was some sort of other options, you know, other suitors. There was some opposition. And um, this troubled you initially, but I feel like you just focused your eyes on the prize and you deaded that connection. This 19 reduces to 10. So you ended it. You ended the situation, you walked away, you said, I'm done. The death card is you, so this this is the death. So you definitely deaded the situation. We got Mr. Telephone Man playing by Erica Badu. So you received a message of concern via a phone call. And this is what really deaded a situation for you, you know. And this was from, from someone who was lacking, you know, these these qualities, these characteristics and attributes. You know, somebody called your ass in the middle of the night and was telling you a whole bunch of shit that you already knew without knowing, but it was like they, they confirmed it. And so as they confirmed those, those, those concerns, that's when you made a decision like, I'm done. And the moment you do that, look what's here. You got great fortune, you got gift. So there's someone coming in to shower you. The divine is showering you because it's as if the divine is saying, like I said, that 26 reduces the eight. The eight is the star card. You know, in traditional tarot. So that's like wish fulfillment, forward movement, infinite possibilities, success, progress. And this is like great fortune. And then you have wealthy man. And then you also have this gift card. So you're being gifted with, with, with something new after you made the decision to leave this alone. And with that telephone man, somebody definitely left you a message that was very concerning. But I feel like, you know... This goes here, back in the pot. But um, I feel like this these messages, these are both 8s, by the way. 26 reduces to 8, and the 17 reduces to 8. So, like I said, dreams, don't forget them. Whatever your expectations were, I feel like something better is coming into the picture. And like I was saying, like not only are you getting wish fulfillment in terms of emotional fulfillment, but you're also going to have financial fulfillment. You're going to have success in your, your career, success in business. You're going to just have success overall. And um, these are all coming from the divine. The divine is giving you these new beginnings, these new fortunate starts. This is like fortune, fame, success. This is like opulence, you know, and it's because you've you've ended a situation. You deaded something. You've gone through major, you know, um, karmic completions, endings. And every ending denotes a new beginning. But I feel like there was a lot of enlightenment, a lot of truth, a lot of um, clarity that came to you. Now, we have this main female here as well. So this is powerful. So let's put this back there. So let's get some messages from Goddess Guidance. So the bottom of the deck, Artemis is there. So that means spiritual protection from any type of voodoo, hoodoo, juju, anyone doing anything, plotting, scheming, anyone that may be like seething at your ascension, your growth of you graduating to the next level, evolving. 
you know, because people hate when you are, you know, growing. They hate that. And it's because, you know, whatever isn't growing is dead. Scorpios are always reinventing themselves, always changing. And we got Q-tip getting up. So some, you know, people don't like that you have gotten up, you know. You know, that tower had you really, you know, stuck and stagnant. But I feel like a lot of you have gotten up from the bootstraps. You know, you really picked yourselves up from the bootstrap. And things are getting, you know, getting better, you know, in that process of you getting up and, and back on your feet. Things are looking up, you know, there's wish fulfillment here. And I just saw um, peace. So this is saying that everything is working out beautifully. So there's no need to worry. So I just had a chunk of cards that just flew down on the floor. And so we have solace, bodies of water. And so I was saying that you all may be, you know, needing to take some time to go by bodies of water. Maybe someone will take you on a walk or go to a lake or take a boat trip or a boat ride. And this is beautiful because this definitely helps to recharge and recuperate and recalibrate and rejuvenate your spirit, your batteries. This is your element, so it's very healing. It's an element of healing. It's an element of, um, of even love, you know. You could even do release ceremonies in water, in the ocean, you know, where you could literally scribe a letter and just let it float into the water and release it, let it go. We have prosperity here. So what did I say? Many of you are definitely coming into abundance. We do have these cards here. You will be the first millionaire. We have wealthy man. So many of you are definitely getting back on your feet financially. This is financial freedom. This is that card of success. It's like stability and the divine is gifting you with this. And this is that same energy where we just saw, you know, we just saw these two cards here where it says great fortune and gift and then you have prosperity so you have wish fulfillment coming in financial fulfillment success and it's something I feel many of you have manifested many of you have really focused your intentions your unwavering thoughts your unwavering feelings your unwavering actions and you focused it on whatever it was that you desired whether that was to heal from brokenheartedness to you know rechannel that energy transmute that negativity onto a project and now whatever you know project you was working on whatever you were envisioning for yourselves whatever skills you were honing whatever talents you were growing sharpening whatever wisdom you were obtaining whatever studious energy you were in there's absolutely like a sense that you know these things are materializing they're coming into fruition and you're hitting your mark why because as I said earlier there's like miracles that are happening in your lives Wish fulfillment. Your angels, your ancestors, your spirit team are granting you wish fulfillment, blessings, abundance, because you've done the work. This hasn't been an easy feat. And Irene is promising that there's nothing for you to worry about because everything is working out just fine. I called upon Mama Lakshmi and here she is. She's also assuring you that everything is going to be okay. There's sirens. So this is confirmation. So you definitely have a bright future. And both of these cards are telling you that there's nothing to worry about. This card says stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And this card here, Irene, um, Lakshmi says bright future. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. And Irene says peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Your future is going to be bright and you're going to have peace and solitude. I feel like a lot of you are absolutely going to be in a space of like you've created a sanctuary for yourself, a safe haven. And there's going to be a lot of peace, a lot of balance and a lot of emotional um, balance as well. And opulence. I feel like your children are going to be successful and happy and abundant and thriving as are you. So this is beautiful. And look what was what's playing. Neo, ch champagne life. So as I'm speaking about everything being you know, working out beautifully and you're not needing to worry about anything. Right now, you have champagne life. So that's the type of life you all are going to be living. And look what we have. Gift. And then we have truth. So you're going to be living your truth. And your truth is that your birthright is to be abundant, to be successful. And with you will be the first millionaire in your family and truth and gift. 
Well, the gift is that you are now unpacking what your your uh, soul's mission is. Maybe whatever it is you're doing is bringing in wish fulfillment. As I said, miracles. Um, you got prosperity and expect a miracle as well as all of these other beautiful cards. And I feel like when you release that person from your past, it will open up the door to all of these wonderful opportunities, beloved Scorpios. This is beautiful. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Yeah, many of you have been on this 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 maze. It felt like a maze. It felt like you were on this round and round. Here we go. You know, going in circles. You know, somebody probably was talking in circles. Making these empty promises. But I feel like many of you have come out of a really dark time. And that's why you're really in a celebratory moment. Things are improving. And it's because you've built a stronger connection with yourself. Stronger connection with your higher self. So you're in alignment. You're in harmony. You're more in balance. In synchronicity. This is beautiful. And I feel like you're taking action towards your dreams. I feel someone's going to come in and take their shot. And this is someone with whom you're going to have a very synergetic connection with. It's going to be very fluid. But I feel like there's going to be a need to pivot. There's going to be a need to be receptive, open. And so this action card just flew back out. I feel like this person's going to mirror you in a lot of ways. You know, they're going to challenge you. But I also feel like you've just got finished going through some sort of dark night of the soul. The mirror reflects. So there were some things that you discovered during this, you know, this spiritual journey that you've been on, this dark night of the soul journey. But through completing that karmic lesson and that karmic cycle, you've discovered a lot about yourself. You now know who you are and you realize your worth, you realize what you deserve. And so someone's definitely acknowledging and noticing um, your beauty, your, your strength. And I'm noticing that there's a lot of arrows here. So many of you have manifested something, you know, to change. Because if you look here, um, there's arrows on all three of these cards. So this is just showing that you have manifested these things that are coming in. Um, in the form of love, in the form of, you know, whatever success, whatever opportunities, in the form of, you know, just whatever business, um, you know, business endeavors. I feel like there's a sense that these are things you've manifested, um, but it's also, you know, your ancestors and angels conspiring behind the scenes, um, kind of encouraging you to, again, you know, to shoot your shot, to go after your dreams, to not forget about your dreams, to not just sit stuck, stagnant, dreaming, hoping, wishing on a star. It's about proactivity, you know, because it's about action. You got to be action, you know. Uh, patience is a form of action and that's what you all were doing so you were very proactive you know you were definitely um, focused on your target and I feel like you're hitting your marks now and so we have Mama Gaia which I called during the um, pre-shuffle so you have a connectedness to source and we did see that with this connection card so you really grounded yourself you really uh, you really found equilibrium emotional mental spiritual this is beautiful energy of like you know gaining clarity and truth and healing becoming i'm hearing oneness wholeness balance being in harmony with not only yourself but with mother gaia with source having a beautiful connectedness to mother gaia I feel like a lot of you love being out in nature, love being amongst the trees. Maybe some of you walk barefooted in, you know, in the grass or on earth and you feel even more connected. I feel it gives you a sense of um, truth and illumination. You receive these downloads. You receive those divine intervention moments. And we have um, Reunited playing by Peaches and Herb. So there's definitely um, someone that could be coming in. Um, and this could be someone very, uh, very much that you um, 
may have forgotten about. Because with this reunited, I feel like this is someone you may have not seen in a while, perhaps. Maybe this is someone that could be at a distance from you, but there's been a longing. And with this energy here, with Gaia, and then we see family. And I see this woman and this baby, and I see this elephant. And it also has a baby. So this, there is a sense that, you know, perhaps there's this beautiful ability to reunite with someone, reconnect with someone, and, you know, have this beautiful connection. And this relationship will ground you. You'll feel grounded. Like you've come through some really difficult times to come in to this beautiful partnership. You know, this partnership is going to feel... It's going to feel very grounded, very... It's like, it's, it, it's almost like it's um, preordained, you know, like this was meant to be. For some of you, may, you may have to be um, the one to initiate. Or maybe many of you have just found um, your voice and you're being more communicative. You're standing in your power. You're being that leader. You're being more assertive. Some of you could be, you know, uh, like I said, you could be entrepreneurs. But you've learned to set healthy boundaries. And I feel like this is how you've been able to obtain this, this power, this success, this strength. Because you've, you've cut out a lot of things that doesn't serve your highest good. A lot of people. Because as I said, you had a lot of fake folks in your circle. A lot of people who really was not... Um, was not rooting for you. They was really trying to put roots on you. People who's really jealous, envious, Judas energy, frenemies. And then you got thief and poverty. So even the people you were scheming on, they was getting schemed on. And, you know, sometimes you're guilty by association, you know. So whoever you deal with, you got to kind of like, you got to always take those, um, those audits, you know. And you got to consider the source as well. You know, like, you know, if somebody's coming to you and they're talking out of both sides of their mouth. And you know that, you know, you just had a whole whopping 5 to 20 years. For some of you, you could have been with somebody for 20 years of just lies and deception. And then they come back talking to you and you trust what they're saying. Then, you know, you really can't blame them if they, if they get you. But you definitely should always consider the source. If somebody's coming to you saying certain things, if you cannot see what they're saying, if they're not representing that through their own actions and their own lifestyle, then chances are they're just, you know, they're embellishing or they're flat out lying. And so we have Nas, the G-O-D. So trust the God in you because you all are, you know, you have that divine power. If they say... You know, you're made in God's image, then that means you have God, uh, you know, God-like qualities and abilities. And that's a, exactly what manifestation is and visualization is taking, you know, your power to the next level. You know, that's what action is all about, being proactive, utilizing the powers, focusing your intention, being the alchemist, being the magician, utilizing the powers, channeling the power the divine gives you. And so we have rescue. So for many of you, somebody could be coming to you to be rescued. I feel like many of you have been rescued from a, a very uh, toxic situation or relationship. I feel like you finally let go of what was keeping you anchored and stuck and stagnant. And you finally, you know, paid attention to the divine, paid closer attention to your own intuition, became more connected to your higher self. And received some sort of spiritual illumination because she's floating in the ocean and she's reaching up for, uh, you know, to be rescued out of the water. So many of you were in, you know, you were really in a very, um, you were emotionally unstable. You were drowning. You felt like you were drowning. But I feel like somebody definitely came and saved you. Maybe this is going to be that divine masculine or that divine feminine that comes in. That's going to have you cheesing from ear to ear. And right now we have Keisha Cole playing trust and believe. So this is somebody you're going to be able to trust and believe in. 
Because this person, again, you're going to trust and believe in love again is what I heard. And you could let your guard down. Because that former person, you know, they were immature. They weren't willing to change. They weren't willing to compromise. This is just that typical youthful energy, juvenile energy. Somebody who wants their cake and eat it too. This person is very obsessed and very possessive when it comes to you. Because I feel like they're going to see. And what she's saying is trust and believe me. You're going to need me. You know. And, and we see here that's exactly what's happening. Because whoever they cheated on you with. Whoever they left you guys with. You know. Fellas. Females. It's like they're realizing that these are some snakes that cannot be trusted. They realize that you never did them this dirty. You know. This is almost like you know that karma dharma. What you put out you get back. Whatever they did to you they got it back tenfold and you know, we got sensuality you're being seen as very beautiful very sexual very sensual very attractive loving and as i was saying earlier some of you feminines have had to take on a lot of masculine energy because maybe you had to you know you had to be very you know you had to wear many hats you had to keep the boats floating you had to keep the ships running you know you had to really you had to carry more you know all of the burdens you know and so that does put you in a masculine energy trying to do multiple things at one time and not having that balance or having someone that you can kind of, you know, balance things out with or have someone come in and take on some of the responsibilities. But I feel like for many of you now, you're, 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 you're focusing on self-love, self-care. So you're, you're taking care of you now. You know, like I said, many of you could be now, you know, catering to your own needs and wants. Taking yourself to get spa days and, you know, to have spa days or taking yourself to get your your toes and nails manicured and pedicured and getting your hair done and doing all those beautiful things. Even masculine, y'all could be, you know, practicing healthy self-care, self-love, you know, getting a nice beard, you know, getting your, your beards uh, tended to and conditioned and getting a beautiful little haircut, nice lineup, getting your nails manicured. You know, there's nothing wrong with that, fellas. So we have here High Priestess and the Sun. So you all are very psychic. I feel like you have a, a spiritual gift. Many of you are so connected to Source that it's like some of y'all might wake up in the middle of the night getting downloads because it could be that intense. And we have Meditate and Turn Inward. So are you all meditating? Because remember, with that song, Whisper, I was picking up that some of y'all was just really connecting to your higher selves, taking that time to meditate, contemplate. And with this Gaia, I do feel like there's a lot of groundedness, like you're very grounded, you're in alignment, you're in harmony. And there was obvious a lot of prayers, petitions, affirmations that were sent up to the angels because Mother Mary is telling you that your prayers have been answered and they will be they, I mean, your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So whatever you've been calling out, calling in and manifesting and whatever energies you've been sending out or words you've been speaking out into the ethers, the divine has received those messages. And you can see on this high priestess card, there's like, you know, a shooting star, which really speaks to something happening in rapid uh, speed. Something's really coming in quickly. And you are the keeper of ancient wisdom, ancient knowledge. So intuitively, I feel like you know this, you know, there's a sense that you know what's happening. And you have to trust what you feel. There's definitely a lot of joy and success coming in and a lot of epiphanies. So trust what you feel, trust what you know, trust your inner gumption. Everything's going to be working out just fine. And we did see that with Irene and Lakshmi also said you have a bright future. Right now we have fabulous playing. Everything was the same, featuring Stacy Barth. So, yeah, everything was the same in the past. Nothing changed. There was no growth. Whatever isn't growing is dead. And so that's why you had to cut off what wasn't helping you to grow, helping you to ascend, helping you to become better, stronger. And now you are evolving and you're attracting, you know, more of the love that you are showing yourselves. That sensuality is that Aphrodite energy. That's that divine feminine energy. You know, so that's like really, you know, channeling in on your divinity, which is creating, which is creativity, you know, creating ideas, creating new ways of thinking, 
birthing babies, you know, whatever it is, new projects. So divine spirit of love and light. So everything was the same in the past. You didn't see nothing different. There was no change. There was nothing exciting. It was all the same old, same old. Day in, day out. And right now we have the emperor. Some of y'all was dealing with the fathers to your children. Like I said, some of y'all could have had a fucking boss that was like a, a goddamn pain in your ass. Micromanager. Just rule with an iron fist for no fucking reason. It's a real, you know laxed job but this person wants to just show everyone they're in charge or this could be that child's father who's just very stern and stoic and controlling and overbearing but this also can be you all taking charge being in leadership role you know this is someone very logical very much organized knows how to turn their thoughts into reality in terms of business so this could be that entrepreneur energy, taking charge of situations, taking action, someone very structured and disciplined. This could be someone who has a background in military, law enforcement, security. So let's see what we got coming in, going out. But I do feel strongly that many of you, like, you're, you're having some really um, exciting ideas about business you know something's coming in about business these are you know this is definitely definitely guaranteeing some form of success that's that divine masculine energy so whatever those dreams are you're not forgetting about them you're actualizing them you know this sword is up so it's like these downloads you're receiving about business whatever expectations you're now running with them you're accepting that role and you're going to go forward with structure and discipline. And you're going to materialize whatever it is you're visualizing. Because this Aries energy is a go-getter. It's very action-oriented. And it has a lot of passion. And so we have right now um, Purple Rain um, uh, Prince. I would die for you. And so I feel like for many of you, you know, with that I would die for you. Maybe this is, like I said, that child's father. Or maybe this is that child's mother. This is somebody that you would have died for, someone that you have really sacrificed a lot for. You know, maybe you had a dream, you know, to be in some sort of marriage long term, you know, and um, you would have done anything for this person. But, you know, perhaps maybe something just didn't work out. It wasn't meant to be. You know, you were meant to learn the lessons you learned and now it's time to move forward. It's time to move upward and onward and to not be stuck, stagnant or anchored to a situation because I feel like there's better for you out there with this three of wands I definitely feel like you know some of the decisions that you've made by moving away from this person and ending the situation because we do see here with this expectations you know I always see that church it always sticks out to me so it's like you had expectations to be married to be in a partnership and maybe this emperor you know was thinking about other things like business money Finances, you know, all of the material things, you know, they weren't really very attentive in that way or affectionate or loving in that way where they were focused on a relationship because they had all these other projects, you know, that were of more importance. And so the expectations you had kind of fizzled out and you focused more on yourself. And this is someone you would have died for. This is someone you loved. This is someone with whom you may have felt was like, you know, your your. You thought this was going to be like your prince, you know? Thought you was going to be the princess, they was going to be your prince. But at the end of the day, whatever you've been working on, I feel like, you know, there's going to be some abundance coming in from your former decisions or your past decisions that you made, the choices. And there's going to be a lot of success in your labors. And we see here with this basic instruction before leaving earth, you know, this is about the seeds that you've planted. And whatever you've planted with... Ever you've sowed in good faith and not actually going to, you know, there's going to be a return on your investment. There's going to be a harvest. And you just, you know, this, this required patience, you know. When you're working this hard, you know, you may not see the results immediately. But I feel like, you know, when you are patient, um, because everything, you know, good things take time to create. There's absolutely going to be a lot of success and pride. You know, you're going to be very proud of all that you've put into this and, and to see, you know, the success of your labors materialize. So that's beautiful. 
and we have Gangstar here just to get a rep. And we're about to clarify emotional intent, emotional intelligence, and uh, message of concern. So we see clearly someone lacks emotional intelligence because they're seeking to get a rep. This is Gangstar just to get a rep. So they're trying to, you know, trying to be seen as, you know, Mr. Cool, Mr. Bravo, or Mrs. I don't give a fuck, you know. But really, deep down, they do. You know, because a lot of the things they do is just done with the intention to, um, you know, to really um, to appear a certain way, you know. So with the Six of Swords, many of you definitely like moved away um, to focus more on your business, to get more, you know, into, you know, to get back into some sort of groove, you know. You, you, you chose to walk away from a situation, maybe that communication that came in, somebody was really doing a lot to get attention. They could have been out there like assassinating your character, defaming your character, lying, spewing lies. And I feel like a lot of you moved away. And when you moved away, things started to look up. There was a relief of some sort. And I feel like this, you know, this, this peace the serenity was because you created a new safe haven for yourself. I feel like you picked up and moved away from a troubled situation. You know, a whole different locality. And it's brought balance. Some of you may be traveling for your soul return. Some of you be, may be, um, you know, taking a little trip. Or some of you could be up and moving to a whole new place, a whole new state, a whole new town. Just to get away from, you know, certain challenges, certain difficult people, maybe family, fake friends, like, and you're not telling anyone, you're just kind of like leaving. I feel like some of y'all are going to move like in the middle of the night when there's nobody outside and can't see you. You're going to just like literally pack up your truck and just move. We got the world card here, so there definitely was an ending and it says emotional intelligence. Someone definitely lacked intelligence. But I do feel like you've learned a lot. You know, there was a lot of experiences that you have learned from this, you know, unfortunate ending. You know, this relationship definitely taught you to stand in your power. You know, you now have the freedom to do whatever it is that you want. And you should be proud for how far you've come. Because the world card is literally like a graduation. And we have... Um, we have Nas featuring Miguel and Swiss Beat, and he's saying life is good, so life is looking up. I feel like a lot of y'all are very much, you know, experiencing a time of joyful accomplishments. You know, there's some sense of spiritual enlightenment. I feel like a lot of you could be receiving, like, like I said, wish fulfillment, miracles, opportunities. This is a card of ascension, growth, elevation, advancement. And there's new opportunities, so this ending represents a new beginning, a passionate new start. I feel like you've blocked out a lot of people. And this is why the divine, you know, was telling you to, you know, let your guard down. Because, you know, you absolutely have every reason to be very protective, especially when you had someone playing with your heart, your mind, you know, running game, playing games, lying, deceiving you, people you trusted. But I feel like with this energy, you're attracting someone very attractive, some, someone very beautiful, you know, someone beautiful spirited, someone also physically attractive, someone very mature. And this is like that, you know, like I said, the yin to your yang, yang to your yin, this is going to be a spiritual union. And I feel like the divine wants you to, you know, have, have challenge, I mean, have confidence, you know, don't be, don't be so um, protective you know, you have to be receptive if you want this person to come in. Someone is really going to be struggling with heartbreak and loss and sadness. Because as I said, you know, whoever they trusted, whoever these people were, they got they got done dirty. Not only did they get their hearts broken, but they got got for everything that they had. And I feel like this person definitely needs to re you know release whatever this energy is needs to you know let go i feel like you know they may feel left out in the cold by you because you have definitely um set your guard you're standing up for yourself now and your beliefs you're not allowing anyone 
to bamboozle you or dupe you ever again in life, you know, and you're choosing your battles wisely and you're not trusting just anyone because this is the type of energy that was really, um, they had questionable motives, you know. This is somebody who, you know, left you and went and dealt with these snakes. What kind of person, you know, makes that type of decision just, you know, without calculating risks? Somebody who doesn't listen to their intuition, somebody who doesn't know or feel or can sense when they're in, you know, danger that and they just did you dirty and you was probably the only person that really cared for them. And they just kind of and maybe it's because they felt like you never would leave. So they thought that they would be able to go do whatever they were doing and then return back to you. And, you know, I feel like, you know, when they tried to double back to you, you was like, oh, hell no. You done packed up and moved the fuck away. You wasn't you wasn't playing that game no more. Because they was, you know, that you got me going in circles. That was playing. So that's what that person was used to doing. They was used to being flighty in, out, in, out. And so you said, oh, hell no, the fuck you ain't. And you moved your ass away. So they couldn't just come back to you. And they couldn't just get have access to you because you stopped all of that shit. And so we see here now with this Judas. Yeah, they're stuck. They're stuck with this energy. This heavy energy, this sneaky, snaky energy. And this is how they was treating you. They was lying, gaslighting. Now they're stuck around a bunch of people doing that shit to them. Females, males, they can't trust nobody around them. And this is causing them a lot of mental anguish, a lot of confusion. Same shit they was causing you. All of the challenges they was bringing to you. All of the difficulties. You know, even the de they could be struggling from like depression. You know? Or even mental illness, mental conflict. Now we have strange fruit, Nina Simone. So someone definitely bit into strange fruit. Someone definitely bit into that apple, Eve's apple. And that's that energy of the devil. They got tricked. And the devil, Judas is, a, you know, this is that enemy energy of an enemy. Someone who will, you know, paint these beautiful pictures, but they, there's poison in the apple. So they make you feel like the apple gonna fill you up, and meanwhile, you you next thing you know, you your ass croak and die. So this is what this person has come to realize is that they trusted the wrong mofos. Strange fruit, Nina Simone. So this is what they did. They bit into forbid forbidden fruit, and this is definitely you know. And it was because they were too proud, you know. They were proud. And the proud could do but so much, you know. They needed an ego death, and this definitely has provided that and presented that. So we have the Knight of Wands. What did I say? This person wanted to be in and out, flighty, you know, wanted to play games, wanted to manipulate somebody who's super passionate, you know, very much um, non committal, who wants to hit it and stick it and quit it. And, you know, they like I said, they be running in and out. So they rush into you, and then they rush out, and you don't hear from them, and then they thought they could rush back in, and you was like, uh, blocka, 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 <laughs> I think not her. And so this is what they got stuck with. They got stuck where they were. So now they're surrounded by snake energy. People, they bit into forbidden fruit, because this Knight of Wands, they just looking for a good time, not a long time, and they done got stuck longer than they were anticipating you know what i'm saying so now they stuck in a situation and this strange fruit got them losing their whole minds like they getting a little you know they going a little crazy here you know i feel like they're suffering from some sort of either depression or some sort of uh, mental conflict and it's because now they're feeling deep regret they're feeling sadness you know and it's because of the challenges it's because of you know, not paying attention to their intuition, their lack of confronting and addressing their deep-rooted pain and issues, the reason why they feel the need to be in and out, sticking everything, hitting and quitting everything, or just be running rampant, you know? So this is now something that they have to sit with. And so with this, you will be the first millionaire, wealthy man, we got the star. So what did I say about that dream? This is why the divine was telling you, don't forget about that dream, beloved, because there's something more than... You know, something that you um, wake up from. It's more than something you wake up from. So whatever this dream is, you held that vision. And I feel like a lot of you held on to faith. 
You knew that your future was meant to be bright. Remember, you had Lakshmi saying bright future. You knew your, meant, your future was meant to be bright. And you knew that your dreams could actually materialize. And so now that that dark night of the soul is turning into the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like someone could be coming in. You know, that could be like a wish fulfillment as well. Or you could just be manifesting some sort of change in your life. Some new opportunities. And we have here, you know, all of the beautiful things that you have done, you know, for people. And in that form of relationship, it's all coming back full circle. So that's why it's important to sow in good faith. Because you're going to reap what you sowed. And I feel like in many instances, you could have been really, you could have been really dark and mean and vindictive and sought the revenge towards this past person but I feel like instead of doing that you really just focused on yourself focused on like kind of getting yourself back on track on rebuilding you know what this person may have destroyed on focusing more on yourself your family your health your wellness you know maybe your business started rechanneling that energy into your creative projects but there is a lot of um, unexpected inflow of abundance there's going to be opportunities, and that's why Lakshmi and Irene was both telling you, don't worry, beloved. Good things take time to create. And the sooner you release the past, the sooner these beautiful opportunities and miracles and wish fulfillment could come in. But I do feel like there's definitely going to be um, a lot of abundance that's coming in, and it's because of all the beautiful things that you have done in your past. Many of you have someone coming from your past. Remember we had um, reunited and it feel so good. And that was playing by Peaches and Herb. So there's definitely, you know, perhaps some of you are reflecting back on your childhood or healing. You know, you've just healed a lot of childhood issues. And so now you're like really looking forward um, to a very positive and happy future. For many of you, maybe someone from your past is returning, or you could be revisiting some of these old dreams and plans, you know, that you may have had since youth. But I feel like a lot of you are definitely um, going to be, you know, you're going to be visited by some old folks from people from your past, you know, maybe romantic relationships, maybe old friendships. Maybe there's a sense of nostalgia where you're romanticizing about how things used to be when things were better. Or maybe this is someone coming back, you know, that could have breadcrumbed you along who wants to return and, you know, offer a sense of, you know, offer an apology or offer you something real. You've definitely taken your power back. You've stood in your power. And I feel like you've been more assertive. You know, you found your backbone. You found your voice. You stood your ground. You're standing your ground. And I feel like this has um, definitely led to you being more powerful than you've ever been you know you're realizing um that you had to lean on your power especially in these circumstances where you were abandoned or mistreated or you know spoken negatively about and right now we have um pusher man by curtis mayfield so for some of you all you were dealing with someone very pushy very controlling you know this was someone who just constantly was trying to push their problems their issues onto you and I feel like for many of you, you were really like being controlled, you know, um, I, not that you were you liked being controlled, but that you were being controlled. Um, this person was definitely like overbearing, as I said, someone who's me, 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 I, 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 my way or the highway. And I feel like a lot of you have had to learn to stand your ground to, you know, have a backbone with this type of person. I also feel like, you know, a part of strength um, is also, you know, forgiving those who have done you wrong. Um, without having to submit your will, you know, you don't have to accept someone's apology and take them back, but you could be, um, forgiving of those who've done you wrong and just wish them the best and no ill will and, you know, wish them happiness and peace in their lives. That's a part of strength as well. It's compassion. It's not holding on to, you know, judgment or holding on, like I said, to any resentment or animosity. Um, but I feel like you're realizing just how strong you are because a lot of you have had nothing but strength to lean on during this dark night of the soul journey. And I see here with this ace of swords, that's that same sword that's being raised here in the emperor's hand is I am feeling like y'all are really 
uh, as I said, you know, there's some brilliant ideas that is really going to take you to, you know, the promised land. Like you're going to be really successful. There's opulence, there's expansion, there's growth. And I feel like there's some really brilliant ideas and you're going to be able to overcome any obstacles, you know, that may present themselves in regards to, you know, perhaps how to move forward with a business or how to rebrand or restructure, um, you know, a particular endeavor. There's going to be a lot of clear and concise communication as well. So if someone may return from your past and want to clear the air or try to resolve, you know, a past issue. Um, and the divine is just simply saying remain, you know, objective, um, be fair, you know. Um, as I was saying earlier, many of you, you know, feminine was in a very masculine energy, carrying all the burdens, um, taking on all the responsibilities, working too damn hard, um, too many hours. Maybe some of y'all are working, you know, overtime hours to, you know, achieve some of your goals to make some things pop. And I feel like there was balance that was necessary. And I feel like you also need to learn to delegate, to ask for the help you need, you know, ask others for help. Don't be too proud. Um, you know, or, you know, don't, don't be too proud to ask for what you need, because I feel like people will be more willing to help you if you simply ask. And I feel like, you know, some of you could have been like overstressed, overworked, and maybe this was like affecting your health in some way or causing certain, um, certain afflictions, um, or ailments, you know, I should say. And so I feel, you know, with this 10, the beautiful thing is it reduces to, you know, the one, which is the ace of wands. So that's that new beginning. That's that action uh, that I feel like a lot of you are taking. And remember, the action card um, is here. So it's like, you know, whatever you really focused your attentions on, um, whether it was the change on movement, on starting something new on some new ideas, new ventures. I feel like you took action. You focused your intention, um, unwavering thoughts, unwavering feelings and actions, and you hit your mark here. So there's something beautiful that you are embarking on, and this is a passionate new start. We have the renewal card, which is judgment. So this is speaking, you know, to really reflecting back and reviewing your past, assessing things that have happened in your past, not only with compassion, but also a sense of forgiveness, as I said, because the forgiveness is always for you. And I feel like, you know, you're making a conscious decision to move in a whole new direction because, as I said, you've completed a cycle, you've learned a karmic lesson. So now you could move forward and let go of that past situation. And I feel like you have more clarity and more, um, you know, a brilliant epiphany of some sort um, in regards to your life's purpose, your soul's mission, and in your heart, you know what you're going to need to do. So you just have to trust your intuition, um, even in regards to, like I said, if it's a dream or something that you really enjoy doing, or even if it's about love um, or loving someone, uh, you're going to know exactly what to do. Um, because I feel like many of you really just want newness you're open to the new and we have um her playing i won't so i feel like you won't be renewing anything i don't feel like you will be renewing a re past relationship i feel like you're going to forgive this person you're going to show compassion but you ultimately are going to love yourself and so we have here the page of wand so there is some form of communication it's enthusiastic optimistic maybe there's some sort of new creative idea um, but there is exciting news of opportunities, uh, potential opportunities. And I feel like you're going to allow, you know, your creativity to just kind of take over. And, you know, maybe some of these things are going to lead to you being successful and gaining some sort of recognition. Uh, your business is going to soar. Um, and I feel like just just continue to feed your passions, continue to do things that fuel you, you know, and, and, and definitely forget, finish whatever it is you start. So if you have an idea, whatever these brilliant ideas are, whatever these downloads that you're receiving, um, complete these new, I, you know, these new endeavors. Don't leave anything undone, you know. Don't do anything half-assed, as my grandmother would say. So we have the moon here. 
So this is powerful. This is um, definitely trust your intuition, obviously. We are in the full moon energy still, even though it was a couple of days ago. We're still in you know, that full moon energy of the hunter's full moon. So trust your intuition and definitely pay attention to the signs. Um, you could be receiving divine interventions, downloads, transmissions uh, via your dreams or even in the awakened state uh, where you may be seeing certain animal totems, insects. Uh, maybe you're seeing certain number synchronicities, finding feathers. Uh, maybe some of you are hearing songs. Maybe you're receiving, like I said, just little sensations, nudges, tingling, ringing of the ears. There's so many different ways in which your, uh, you know, the divine will communicate with you. Um, some of you could be worrying about things and you need to just let go um, of any of your fears and just trust the process. Trust the divine timing of things. Uh, but there will be some some really um, strong revelations uh, that are going to make things crystal clear. So that's another reason why you need to trust your intuition. Um, and we got the Nine of Wands here. So there's definitely a sense of defensiveness and protecting your, yourself, protecting what you've been creating, because there is someone, like I said, who's been kind of watching you. And these are people who are like plotting, scheming, scamming, trying to attack you and um, just protect everything that you have and what you've created and be prepared you know be prepared you know never um, let your guard down with these people you see she's holding up this guard I feel like a lot of these individuals are people that you've blocked out cut off and I feel like now that you've really like said I'm done done and you're really mean it um, they're gonna come at you even harder because they're not used to that so I do feel like you know if you need help and assistance calling your angels calling your spirit team because uh, some of these people really do um, have it out for you you know I feel like these people do have some really bad intentions for you um, just underneath that we have the uh, five of pentacles so there is a lot of folks who are struggling right now financially um, and they're really struggling in a spirit of lack um, some of these people like I said they, they, they jumped into situations especially with this fool this dreamer is the fool card so they really took some sort of leap of faith, thought they was going to have a new start, and it led them in a pile of shit, led them in a really, you know, in a, a, in a tough pickle, you know what I'm saying? Like, they really stuck, you know, and so they, they're really strongly looking for a way out. I feel like you all are moving forward, upward and onward. You're charging ahead. There's victory. There's rewards that are coming from all the hard work that you've put in. Um, you put in work, Scorpios, and I feel like you're definitely more balanced, more in equilibrium, and this is because you have prioritized uh, a lot in your life and found that balance, and because of your determination and willpower, you will have success, you will have victory, and what will you have? You'll have a, this beautiful Ten of Cups, and this is that energy, like I said, of that person who's coming in to court you to be charming, chivalrous, who's going to woo you and treat you like a lady, treat you like a man, who's going to appreciate you. This is that person that definitely is seeking that happy house, happy spouse energy, that happily ever after. They want a happy marriage. This is a emotional fulfillment and contentment, a very beautiful, loving relationship, not only between you and your person, but also including your children, your family. And this is definitely someone that you're going to be able to trust and someone who's going to be emotionally intelligent. For many of you, this is going to be, you know, someone who's definitely going to be very open hearted um, and someone very, you know, sensitive, you know. But this is going to be a beautiful romantic encounter. And I feel like this person's really coming in. There's going to be, you're going to receive some sort of nudge, some sort of inclination or download you're going to receive something some psychic hit something's going to let you know that this person is coming in because i do feel like um as i said when that high priestess showed up that that not only speaks to you being clairvoyant and having you know having ancient wisdom having access to ancient wisdom knowledge but it also speaks to you being highly intuitive so i feel like you're going to pick up um you know, there's going to be like a heightened um, ability to feel something or to sense something. And that's why you're able to walk away from anything from your past because you could sense 
they're full of shit. <laughs> you know, that Judas energy definitely indicates that. But um, Scorpios, this is your reading. I do appreciate you tuning and tapping into the channel. If you are new, I hope that you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. If you found the reading to be, you know, um, your story, if it resonated with you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, definitely do your sister a solid and hit the like, the share, the subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. And if you um, take a chance, you know, if you get the chance, take uh, take a look into my Etsy shop. I got some dope items on there. Uh, I've been updating my items. I got a lot of things um, that I'll be adding to my shop. I've been working on a lot of different projects. I am a multitasker, Scorpios. Y'all know how we do. We do 50 different things at one time. But um, definitely um, peruse my shop. See some things. There's some. There's a little bit of everything in there, you know. So you know, hopefully you'll find something you like. But I do appreciate those who have purchased my items. I do truly appreciate you all. I appreciate the positive reviews. It does help, and it does also, you know, just kind of show everyone that. You know, I got some testimonies now. I got some folks that's really giving some positive um, feedback. So I appreciate you all for that. And I appreciate you all for tuning and tapping in. Until next time, I send you love and light. Infinite love and light, y'all. Peace.